Hi Libra, here's a general look at your solar chart for September 2009 and this is the month you can really get into gear and make progress towards your goals. There's likely to be a lot on your mind, you're going to be busier in your head, uh, you'll have lists, maybe um, timetables, schedules, deadlines, uh, going back over something as well, um, looking after yourself uh, or uh, maybe it's uh, a personal interest that you have, something that's very close to your heart. Uh, um, just uh, rethinking things maybe there or um, tying up loose ends with something, um, being quite thorough with, with something, dotting the I's, crossing the T's. Uh, also, uh, any community or organisation that you belong to, uh, work within or for, or a community that you have around you, gatherings of people, friends. Uh, uh, this is all going to be uh, a point of focus as well and uh, their input could uh, come to your aid at times in uh, sometimes unconventional or surprising ways. So you'll be aware of needing to meet certain requirements um, to meet certain criteria, come up to the mark in some way this month and you may uh, not have a lot of patience, uh, you may want things to go faster and you may be irrita get irritated because when things are going slowly, that's because Mars, the planet of war, the planet of, of adrenaline is in a, um, an area of your chart related to your, your goals and your ambitions in life so you may get annoyed with red tape or bureaucracy or the boss or an authority figure like a parent or a teacher, um, just you know them out there. Um, so sometimes you might just have to count to ten or uh, take a walk and uh, you know, clear your mind. So and also it, this is a time of change, you've got this changing energy in your employment area too, that's been there for quite some time, this Uranian energy means that it's, it's an unsettling energy, but it's the energy that is useful to bring change into a stuck or stagnant area. And so the Uranian energy, yes, it does mean there will be ups and downs, a stop-start situation in the employment area or the job. Um, but once again, you, you should really just go with the flow with that, try and keep pace with that energy and um, not not be too rigid in your thinking there, in fact be very flexible in your thinking there and don't try to tie anything down and say okay this is the way I'm going to do this job or this is this technique I'm going to use or skill I'm going to learn or skill I'm going to use um, or a bit of knowledge I'm going to use forever because it's n ain't going to work. Um, there's loads of changing energy in there so just keep pace with that and allow for more stimulating innovative realities to take root and grow. Now this applies to job and daily routines but also it applies to health issues. Those are your own health health issues or maybe um, some you know people around you and also lifestyle choices. So again if the diet hasn't you know isn't doing you any good or uh, you need to um, ex exercise more, um, then this is the time for this ch energy of change to come in and help you. Um, so anyway, it's time for you to let go what is, isn't working for you anymore in that area there and to allow new ways of working uh, to be coming in. And also, because this is a very ambitious month to show others you really mean business, to be more assertive about bringing the changes too. Now with your ruling planet Venus uh, promising abundance through all social activities, that's for business or pleasure, uh, Libra. Um, networking, now that's going to be really important this month. Uh, group efforts, whether they're in cyberspace or whether the, this is you m mingling uh, with people um, for fun or, as I say, for business. Um, any organization that you belong to should be fully open to what the, these, this area can bring you to enrich your life even if it does raise an eyebrow to occasionally because there's a real sort of unconventional feel here and, and, and you may feel a little ambushed at times but maybe in a, in a, in a good way. Th there's a very liberating and supportive energy in this area of your life until the 21st. 
thereafter, well, I think um, you'll hold your cards a bit closer to your chest. You'll be pondering things. You'll be working hard on something in the background. I think you're going to be doing that this month as well. I think there's going to be a lot going on in the wings, as it were, or backstage this month. Um, but uh, after the 21st, th then you're going to be working uh, maybe su more of support for others. Um, or it could be that you are um, nurturing some kind of project or relationship behind the scenes. Now things are going to be needing uh, more effort or TLC from you around the 16th to the 19th and feelings uh, and thoughts. You could be f pondering things deeply then uh, and, and also around the 21st to the 23rd. Don't schedule anything big to be happening uh, uh, in that uh, time slot there. Um, leave it till later or do it before. Something in unexpected or inspiring could um, emerge uh, around the 11th. That'll be a good time for you to attend a social event uh, and it could pay off nicely for you too. Libra, curb a tendency to under un to understate or undersell yourself or in fact to be over generous and, and promise too much. You'll be feeling, as I say, more ambitious to get ahead this month even if it means being controversial at times. There's dangers uh, that others will see you as too driven or too bossy. <laughs> Um, but that's because you've got a bee in your bonnet, Libra, um, and uh, it's probably better to be like that, to be indecisive, um, because that is your greatest pitfall, is to see everybody else's point of view much more clearly than you can see your own, and therefore you lose the thread of yourself. Um, so, you know, put your best foot forwards, and um, this is a month when uh, you can make a lot of progress. So you can, you can move mountains now, Libra, um, if, if, if you need to, and uh, um, indeed others may be demanding, but this is an excellent time for you to begin a new project or venture. So definitely a time for you to uh, rely on yourself more, to work more independently at things, and um, you know, if you need a job, job done, then don't leave it to somebody else, get on with it yourself. Well, that's it for September. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.